We are going to concentrate now on the walls. Um, here is my reference. So we are only going to be concentrating on, on, on this wall and on the adjacent wall. So we're going to build the windows. We're going to build our trims, our borders. We'll also do the curtains and whatever else we need to when it comes to just the walls part. So let's begin. At first what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two walls. It'll be uh, easier, a lot easier for me to work with them together. So I'm going to select these two. Mesh, combine. And automatically renames it. So I'll rename it back to walls. And also when you combine things, you got to make sure the two things that you combine together they will leave, um, they don't merge vertices automatically for you. So you see right here, uh, I have two verts selected, even though this is one object. So I want to eliminate that. And also, the way you get this little bar is if you go to display, heads up display, poly count. That's how you get a little uh, display window here. So uh, let us merge vertices. Marquee drag selected, and I go to edit mesh merge. Now it's back to one. Gee, actually I want to put that on my shelf. I also uh, added two of these items, insert edge and split polygon tool um, onto my shelf. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that now. So now, okay, now let's begin. I'm going to drag my little reference closer to the wall so I can kind of see where he's at and I can judge accordingly the height of the windows. scale and let's drag him so he is at the uh, floor alright let's reference him so we can select him again now what I'm going to do is let me go back to my reference um, right here this is uh, this is a good one. I'm going to use my insert edge. I'm going to cut these two walls that I uh, that I have across here and across there. And I'm going to uh, template them out for each of the windows. So there's one, two, three, four windows here. And there's three windows on this side. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Insert edge tool. And I'm just going to guess uh, as of to the height, to the top and the bottom, based on my reference. Since I don't have the actual measurements, I'm going to do my best and just kind of uh, guesstimate it. And here, just looking at my character, and you know, he's six feet tall, and he's halfway. So that's about maybe two and a half feet, almost, maybe three feet, so that's that's pretty good. And now um, I'm going to divide this wall into, so there's going to be four windows here. So let me look back at the reference and see how close this window is to this wall. Okay, and there's a little bit more space here than it is here. So let's go back and I'm going to slice them up. Okay, now one thing I want to do is to make sure that uh, there is equal selection of, so the window itself is exactly the same in measurement um, because I don't want to just keep slicing it across and have it uh, be you know, a little bit off. I like everything to be exact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cube I'm going to scale it up and this is going to be my reference for the window. So let me drag it over closer to the wall. And I'm just going to reference it like this. Maybe a little bit more. So 
So we'll see one, two, three, four. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. It's a little bit too narrow. Okay, that looks looks good enough. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that works. What I'm gonna do now is Shift D to duplicate it, and it duplicates it right on top of uh, our original. If I drag this over to about here, and I duplicate it two more times, now nah, that's not quite not quite what I want. So if I take it again, a little bit more space, Shift D, and one more time. That's a little bit closer to what I want. I'm probably going to need to get rid of this edge. So I select this edge, and the, the way you select an edge loop is if you select an edge and press up on the keyboard, it selects it across, like, like we see here. But if I press, if I select it again and I press left, it selects uh, the edge loop uh, the opposite way. So I go to edit mesh and I need to delete edge or vertex. I'm going to put on my shelf again, delete. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy, delete. And let me see my reference. Uh, I need a little bit better view. Okay. All right. Here, uh, maybe a little bit. So I want to keep the spacing in between uh, more exact. So I'm going to select all four of them and drag them over a little bit. So that seems pretty good to me. Now I'm going to slice the rest of them up. So these are the templates for the windows. So I'm going to use my insert edge. Let me go into. I'm going to do my best. Select my wall. Slice them across like this. I'm going to continue on. For all four windows, I'm going to do the same. And one more. All right, object. So let's see. I'm, I, and I'm going to keep one of them because I, wa I want to keep it for uh, for this part of the part of the wall. So I don't want to get rid of this just yet. So let me drag this out all the way over here. Just leave it there. So this is going to be my uh, my windows. So what I can do is select all four of these and extract them so they're a separate piece of geometry as windows and I can apply uh, material, transparent material to them. So what I'm going to do is extract them like we did before. Mesh, extract. Now they're all four separate pieces of geometry by themselves. Yep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, modify center pivot for each one. I'm going to rename class window. Don't get why they're not renamed when I select all of them. Glass window. Okay, and let us do the same thing on this wall. So we have our template. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. And slide it over. And on this wall we only have three windows. And let me look at my reference again. One, two, three. It's quite a bit of space. It seems like there is more space 
in between windows here and there is here yeah yeah definitely a lot more so we're gonna make sure that we space them out a little bit bigger than these guys so let's select and I'm gonna press shift D drag this guy over and press shift D again and that seems about good let me take a look at the reference again it's space yeah yeah that's I think that's very good yeah that's very good let's do the same thing with slice them insert edge tool and slice this guy down one I'm gonna do this for every single one of our windows and uh, I'm gonna delete these reference now and I I'm not a, we don't need this reference anymore so I'm gonna delete this guy too so now select the faces and we're gonna extract them from our wall so select the faces, mesh, extract. Go back to object mode and we need to modify and center the pivot on all of them again. So select the your, select your geometry, center pivot. And and it's time to delete our history because it's building up and uh, we should consistently always delete our history so this doesn't build up. It slows down Maya considerably. So select your geometry and delete history and do the same thing for your windows. And it looks like here's another thing. Uh, every time you duplicate geometry or um, extract it, for some reason Maya goes back to um, a previous setting I had in a custom polygon selection so my border edges are huge so if a uh, similar thing is happening to you just select the geometry that it's doing it to and go back to your uh, custom polygon display make sure your edge width is one and border edges if you want them and just apply and now it's back to normal and make sure you save so I am up on the champagne bar number three so now we have our windows next thing is we are going to focus on building the top trim the window pane the, the, the round border around the window the window pane and uh, then the curtains